a few years ago I had the opportunity to join a group of other scientists with very different backgrounds uh, to a look at the question, do pesticide residues in fruits and vegetables seem to represent a significant risk uh, for the typical person in the United States? Uh, it was an intriguing panel, which I enjoyed in part just because I, I had fun on it. I mean, it had individuals whose major background was in risk analysis or was in pesticide quantitation or in the statistical analysis of data in public health, uh, and I was there as a nutritionist. Uh, when we interrogated the data, we came to the conclusion that, well, yes, one can detect pesticide residues on fruits and vegetables in this country and virtually any country, that the health consequences, um, basically, we can't even quantify them with any level of accuracy. Now, we have to stress when we look at things like this that that doesn't say pesticide residues or pesticides are good for you to consume. It's at what point does the consumption reflect a risk? And one of the concerns that the entire committee had is we need to get the public to, to understand things such as health risk ratios. Um, those are difficult concepts to sometimes teach, but as we increase our ability to, to measure things at my very minute amounts, vanishingly small, if we're gonna say, the sheer presence is there, if that's what people get excited or distressed by, we have to get them to say, no, it's not the sheer presence, but it's the amounts. It's total exposure that requires more attention.